Hey guys, Nick from Windows Mobile Power User here. Microsoft has just released Windows 10 Mobile Build 10512 and is now available to the fast ring of insiders to download and install. The latest Windows 10 Mobile Build comes with a couple of new improvements and bug fixes. As expected, this build doesn't include new features as I said before with previous builds. I believe that Windows 10 Mobile is now feature complete and the company is working to fix bugs and improve performance. Alright, so some of the new things that you can do in this build is change the background image to the lock screen within the Photos application, which is a pretty nice addition. Microsoft has also improved the kids' corner tile layout and they've improved Latvian and Chinese inputs. Now, it's worth noting that in this build also includes a couple of known bugs. Microsoft states that the mobile hotspot doesn't work with this build. When sharing the internet from your phone using mobile to hotspot, the device will fail to get the valid IP address from your phone and will show no internet access. Additionally, two-factor authentication from your Microsoft account with the phone number doesn't work in this build. As a workaround, add secondary email for two-factor authentication. Video playback is broken in the movies and TV app in this build, but on my device it seems to work just fine, at least when I watch the trailers of the films. Going full screen causes the video playback to crash, however. With the latest update, the performance of Windows 10 Mobile continues to improve. But the question is, are you going to upgrade to this version of Windows 10 Mobile? Because of the big list of known issues, I think that only hardcore testers should get this build and the more casual audience should wait for the more usable build that has less issues. But if you're still wanting to update, let us know and see how it works for you. To get Windows 10 Mobile, you'll need to join the Windows Insider program by heading over to the App Store and downloading the application. Keep in mind that if you're already a part of the Insider program, you can get the latest update by heading over to Phone Update and check for updates. That's all for today, but if you'd like to see more coverage on anything Windows Mobile, make sure you subscribe to Windows Mobile Power User and follow us on Twitter. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.